Hello? <coughs> I've got a bit of a sore throat happening, so like talking for this length of time is not gonna be healthy for me, but you know what? I do the difficult things, okay? <laughs> God, I'm already on one. Anyway, hello, welcome in to another vid. I'm very excited for this video. I don't even know if anyone's gonna fucking care, right? I, don't, I haven't really seen much hype about this movie. Although I've not really been on social media much. Like I go on and like I post things, so I maybe look at stories or something, but for the most part, I don't really dwell on social media these days. So who knows, maybe, maybe people are excited. I've just not seen it. I've definitely not been on Twitter. Twitter's just not the place for me. X even, not Twitter, but whatever the fuck, who cares? So who knows? Um, but we're here to watch Damsel, right? The new movie that is featuring uh, the one and only Millie Bobby Brown, right? I love her. I fell in love with her in Stranger Things. If you didn't know, if you're new to the channel, I did literally react to the whole of Stranger Things like a year, year and a half ago or something now. She just seems wonderful. So obviously when she announced that she was gonna be in this movie and she was obviously the main protagonist, I was excited and I really wanted to sit down. So hopefully anybody's watching this. Before we do crack on in, I would like to just give a quick shout out to the patrons. As usual, love you guys so much. Thanks for supporting me over there. It does not go unnoticed. If you are interested, I post every single movie or TV show episode that I put up on this channel over on Patreon a few days in advance. So yeah, there's a bunch of stuff over there. I, I couldn't even tell you the amount, but there's a lot. So yeah, maybe check that out if you'd like to. If not, totally chill. I have a second channel, Bit More Brad, where I post content besides reactions. So if that's something you're also interested in, there is that there. And I post my podcast, Morning Glory, over on there visually, as well as it being available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, all the things. And finally, my website, Bo by Brad. I have recently launched some cool, very hot and sexy t-shirts. So yeah, check them out if you want. Okay, let's go. Number one movies in the UK today. I know that's fucking right. There are many stories of chivalry where the heroic knight saves the damsel in distress. Of course, because women can't do anything. Women are, women are useless, didn't you know? This is not one of them. Period. Guys, if you are new to the channel, you might not know, but I love a strong, powerful woman, right? And I just know that's what this is gonna give. There it is! And dragons, I mean, what more do you want? A strong, pa pa strong, powerful female leaves and a fucking dragon. That's peak cinema for me. I'm already rooting for the dragon, sorry. Sue me. <laughs> From the line! Guys, we've got fucking spaces and everything. We've got a an organization going on here. Come on, guys. Get your formations! <laughs> oh my god, that's interesting fire, isn't it? It's almost like lava, like it's like a liquid that comes out rather than like a fiery air, you know? That was cool. Bye. Thanks for coming. We are so glad you came. We're just accepting it, aren't we? Yeah, uh, period. <laughs> How could you not, you know? All your men are dead. Centuries later, fucking hell, all right then. Still quite old maiden type of drag though, eh? Did you take the tapestries into town like father asked? This morning. And the drapes. Not the drapes. Our people are freezing and starving. Bigger picture, right? Bigger picture, babes. <laughs> Decoration takes takes a backseat when people are starving. Elodie, why are they leaving? There's nothing left for them here, Floria. Elodie? That's her name. I fucking love that. Elodie. Father? You must be Elodie. Love that. Love that red fucking avant-garde moment. The drama. She will do. How dare you? 
jawline. Oh my god. Right, so what from what I saw in the trailer, I'm pretty sure she gets married, right? So that I'm assuming this is what this is. She's gonna be shipped off now to go and marry some fucker. Well, what is it? From the Queen of Aurea. Proposal. Got it. I know you've always wished to travel, as did your mother. This man, he has a fleet of ships. That's no reason to marry. <gasps> Fucking period. I already love this shit. I can travel without being bound to a man. Thank you. And good day. I am bound to you. <laughs> Land ho! <laughs> That's what they always say, isn't it? What in the world? Looks almost, almost like a dragon. Is it a statue? I imagine it's some sort of like Im intimidation tactic, you know? Fair play, you do what you gotta do, I suppose. Definitely not the warmest of welcomes, <laughs> is it? They're a bit too excited to be just like <laughs> getting rid of one of their daughters, you know? They're just like <laughs> Love that. Love the S as the dragon. Love that. Well done. Designers. I mean it's a beautiful place, why? Wow. Angela Bassett did the thing. Pray this is to your liking, my lady. Beautiful architecture, fuck me up. It's absolutely fucking gorgeous. A bath has been drawn, and supper has been carried hence. Carried hence? Thank yeah. you so much. I would At first light, I shall return to convey you to meet His Royal Highness, Henry, Prince of Aurea. There's something wrong. I just hope he's kind. Handsome? Obviously handsome, but I'd rather not get abused. You know, that's far from of my mind. Richies and like people of privilege tend to abuse their power often, so. <laughs> my fingers are crossed for you, baby. That's got gold flakes on it, that pomegranate. Wealth. Wealth. Rich. Rich. <laughs> are you rich? Is that Henry? No, it's a lady. Okay, I thought it was Henry in his like bedtime garments. No, it's just a gown. I wish we were lesbians. Wish that's where we were gonna go with this, but I don't think it is. We're seeing the fucking fire of the dragon, aren't we? I know we are. She knows there's a, there's a real dragon afoot. What is your greatest strength? I always tell the truth, Your Majesty. Some might call that a weakness. Being honest. Arise, Elvie. She looks incredible. She looks mean, but she looks incredible. Very pleased to finally meet you, my lady. What's his name? Wish I knew his name. I've seen him in something. Oh, you betcha, yeah. My son understates our joy. And if I may say so, your father has understated your beauty. Period, he has. She's gorgeous. And you must be Floria. It seems even a harsh climb can grow the fairest flowers. Your correspondence made mention of some particulars you wish to discuss in person. The two of us can confer in private. It's nothing to bore our young people with. They must get to know each other. I was gonna say get to know each other, yeah. Maybe make an acquaintance, I guess. If you're gonna marry, if... I guess you've got a few questions, you know? Do you have any questions of me? What do you think about me? Pardon? Well, you seem disinterested at best. But I'd like to know if the person that I'm being guilted into marrying truly likes me or not. Get him! If my attitude offends you, I do apologize. It was not my intent. It does. It does. You've not really been saying much. However, I was unaware that um, you were being guilted into anything. Do you think I'd choose this? I've made my peace with it. My happiness is a small price to pay for the future of my people. That is very mature. We love. What a giving lady. In the letter you sent in advance of your arrival, you sounded different, far more... Um, Complacent. 
I see what they're throwing here. I saw some horses being left unattended at the stables. Do you ride? Oh, honey. Honey. <laughs> I'm not sure how old I'm meant to be betraying in this, but I will hold my tongue. <laughs> well, to be honest, they seem like they're getting along well enough. I just don't like his mum, the queen. She seems very scary. And I'm almost thinking those red fucking gowns, they're kind of giving scary too, you know, like blood gowns. I don't know, it's all, it's all a bit sinister if you ask me. Is the wedding still on? Aye, oh, more gold than I can ever imagine. Tell me, you didn't say anything to embarrass us. No, I said so nothing. Nothing's wrong. What's, what is going on with him? Like you'd think he'd be elated if he's getting more gold than he could ever imagine. Symbolism boots. Okay. Everything so beautiful, Your Majesty. Well, I'm glad you approve. Everything is just so exquisite. I'm sorry, is there something I can help you with? I'm gonna say it seems like she's a bit disinterested in this conversation, to be honest, so... I just thought we might become better acquainted, seeing as we're about to be family. Ah, oh, this must be very exciting for you. Snotty bitch. She's a snotty bitch. Your father was a rope maker, was he not? The finest in the city. And here you are, you've climbed so high. Still, one mustn't forget one's station. An ugly, pimply bitch! Yup, I'm not. Nor place undue import on what is ultimately a transaction born of necessity. Your family needs money. My family needs a bride. What we don't need is more family. There it is. She said, I don't give a fuck about you and yours. I'm just gonna take your daughter and be on my way. I wish all the best for Henry and Eloise. I merely- Elodie. Pardon? My stepdaughter. Her name is Elodie. That's what I said. Why did she say Eloise? I suppose easy mistake. But then how are you passing it off as if that's what you said? Just be like, oh, sorry, my mistake. Like Elodie is quite a unique name. So I could see how you could maybe get it mistaken. But why, why? Try and pass it off as like you said. Anyway. <laughs> Stepmother. We're leaving. Let's leave. Get that fire exit door. I'm off. We're leaving. Let's go. Bye. I know we haven't always been close, but I need you to listen to me now. This wedding is a mistake. Period boots and tea. I am on board. I don't trust them. It's hard to explain, but a mother knows these things. Only yesterday you were enamored by this place. Floria. I was wrong. I'm sorry, you can get blinded by the facade at like first glance. Anybody would, it is overwhelming. They may be royalty, but that doesn't make them good people. You're being unreasonable. That's enough, Flor. Shut the fuck up! I swear that I only want what's best for you. Am I interrupting something? Yes, Miss Diva. No. You've thrown your daughter to the fucking snotty wolves. Girl talk. Well, tomorrow's a big day. And these girls, they need their rest. I don't trust the dad, neither. Think about what I said. There's still time. Time for what? I hope you know what you're doing. Period. As do fucking I. Okay? As do I. I hope you know what deal you've made, my guy. It's a bit much, isn't it? It's a bit fucking much. <laughs> like, I'm sure she's gonna look absolutely gorgeous, but Jesus Christ, let me breathe. <laughs> like, layers upon layers. No wonder they have to cinch you in so tight. The amount of layers, they're bulking you up. I'm sorry, I mean, come on. I get that it's Old Maiden and like, I'm sure, very restrictive, but wow, it's incredible. Like that is a gorgeous, gorgeous gown. Take the, take the veil off, don't need that, but the rest of it, beautiful. I'm sorry, no one, no one has a fucking 
crown that pointy without being a horrible bastard. You may kiss the bride. Shit kisser. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> I got that vibe. Wow! I present my son and new daughter, Elodie, Princess of Orient. Okay, so shit's going awry now, isn't it? Because she's got to become a damsel. I hope my mom's beautiful someday as you are today. Oh, babes, you're adorable. Don't put yourself down so. I know this beauty does not diminish yours, you know? I'm worried because it's been literally half an hour and we've got to be we're married right there's a definite shift here oh it's giving cult oh okay I think we've joined a cult everybody ah, what the fuck what welcome princess the fuck is all this then tonight you join a long line of women who have helped to build this kingdom. Huh? 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 What the fuck do you mean? Other wives? A creature dwelt here first. With savage bloodlust, the beast left its lair and set upon the village. Are they gonna feed it to the dragon? For the king, the beast had a far worse fate in store. Well, what's that then? Give up his three beloved daughters and the island could be shared. Wait. Did the dragon just come out and say that then? Yes. The three princesses met their end in the belly of the beast, and a kingdom was born. <gasps> and I, I know for a fact, right? They've had him marry all these ladies. They've been getting all these wives. It is this sacrifice we commemorate every generation. A tradition going back centuries. She's going to be sacrificed, Boots. Because what other women would it be? Other than this like arranged marriage situ situation. Your hand, child. I'm not doing all this. I'm, I've, I've run down ill, me. I've gone. A legacy of honor and duty you now inherit. I wonder if Eloise was another wife. And that's why we got her name fucked. She is now of royal blood. Okay. Nah, this is, this is fucked up. To ensure that our kingdom thrives forevermore, pay your due to the realm. Toss the coin into the chasm. She's tossing the coin, then they're gonna toss her. Ooh. The ceremony is now complete. You may make your return. I'm supposed to carry you back. Why don't you go fuck yourself, you weird little prick? Oh no, he's carrying you and he's throwing you over. Close your eyes. I've got you. Guys, this is so fucked up. Babes, how are we not suspicious? He's told you to close your eyes and he's carrying you across a fucking little chasm. You're going overboard, Miss Queen. This is crazy. This is crazy. It's fucked up and crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> That, guys, that is so wild. What do you mean? What do you mean? How are they just doing this? Like, how is no one questioning where all the wives are going? You know? <sighs> As a... Dad knew. Dad agreed to it. Because his fucking whole, whole mood shifted after he had the meeting about the fucking wedding. He agreed to this, and I bet that's why all of the other people agree to it. Because they give them so much money and they're like, you can agree to do this and get rid of one of your daughters and save your whole fucking town. And that's why they, yeah, that's why they don't say anything about it. Because they must agree. Miss Queen, no one's gonna come and save you. They threw you overboard. Right. I don't know what that is. 
I don't know what that is. Is that a bird or is it a baby dragon? Bird. L a load of them. I suppose it needs something else to eat other than just a lady every once in a while. You know? Give me strength, mother. Mother. Does the dragon fucking talk, you sons of bitches? Does the dragon talk, you sons of fucking bitches? What the hell? <sighs> this dragon doesn't seem very friendly, does it? I'm gonna need some more light on the situation, me personally. You need little bird. Speak your name. Elodie. Oh, it's so freaky, it's freaking me out. I want what is promised? What is old? I hate it. <laughs> the sense of royalty betrays you. It's in your blood. That's why they made her a royal. That's why, that's why all the girls have to marry into the royal family before they're sacrificed because it must be some sort of grudge that this dragon has with royals specifically. Oh my god, guys, this is kind of fucking crazy. I want to get a good, good look at this dragon. What? She, guys, she was there. She was another one. They're marrying him off that quick. What the fuck? Actress. Did I hurt you? That voice. That voice is really horrid. <laughs> that's things that that's stuff of nightmares that. That's stuff of nightmares. That's stuff of that's stuff of horror movies. <laughs> like getting stuck in the middle of fucking nowhere, like it, mm, the depths of a chasm. Oh God, I could never be me. <sighs> oh, that's lovely. A nice refreshing blue light. I hope it's got healing powers or something. You ate that. At, at the end of the day, guys, anything's off the card. Everything's off the cards here. We've got a fucking talking dragon. Nothing's off the cards? I'm not sure. Oh, babes, you've got to be more careful. You've got to use those eyes, right? You've got to scope out the situation. You can't just go walking ahead. No! Oh, that was very brave of her. That was very brave and also daring. Fucking hell. No! Oh, Miss Queen is really working her pussy out. Go on, girl. Upper body strength. We love. Touch it. I'd have to touch it. There's no way I'm standing next to that and not giving it a little. Oh. You know, it just looks like one of those things that would just would be so satisfying. But I do worry, is it poison? Nothing that glows that artificially can be good, surely. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. That's horrid. <laughs> That could be piss. That that could be dragon piss. Yeah, exactly. It could be literally dragon piss or sweat or gunk. Could be any of those things. And you just went straight on in. Didn't even give it a sniff. Ah. Come on then. Ah. Like, how does she still look hot? Are you fucking kidding? She said, ah. I'm scared we're getting complacent, tensions building, I'm scared! I am shooketh. 
That is wild, guys. This is crazy. Almost caught you, little bird. It, so it likes the chase. You hide now, like all the others. Safe here, she cannot reach. Slay! Yay! This story always ends the same. Yeah, we'll fucking see about that. You've not come across Millie Bobby Brown before, all right? She knows how to get out of a sticky situation. I do, yeah. Look at all these garments. All the girls, all the wives. Disgusting behaviour, if you ask me. Are these going to be their names? I'm telling you now, Eloise is going to be on here. Eloise, Eloise, Eloise. Fatima. Carlotta. Eloise. Stop! My God! It's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie? What is? Are they healing us? Are they just fucking healed us? Ah, get off! No, babes, leave them. They're clearly he helping. Ah. That's everything. They've sucked all that puss and gunk and shit out. We love that. Yeah, get them to work, I would be. <laughs> Deeply sorry. That is incredible. Get me one of them. Not that I get many gashes, but I'm thinking if they can work that well on a little wound, I'm sure a, a, a pimple here and there. The old fashioned pimple patch, as it were. <sighs> oh, they're sharp. They're gorgeous, but they're <laughs> sharp. I'm seeing us getting sliced by them, you know, at some point. Ooh, all the way up to. No, we can't climb up there. Wish me luck. Oh, no, I don't like it already, guys. I don't like it. I suppose she knows she's got her bugs for if she does really get gashed up well. Honestly, I am a little very gagged. You've got to be kidding me. They are so sharp and they're everywhere. <laughs> ah! <laughs> One's going to have to give way or something. This is too easy. Oh, you fucking bastard. Ah! I'm getting all, I knew I shouldn't have, uh, have worn no hair. <laughs> Not a memoir, Sam! Sam, this is some scary shit! I'm sorry, why is the dragon not gush gushing, you know? She's a great climber. I'll give it to her, wow. I couldn't have done that, you see. One, I weigh too much, and two, I'm, I just don't have the upper body strength in comparison to the rest of it. <sighs> but that dragon can also come out of its little cave, can't it? No doubt. Right. Now we're in a pickle. Yep. I did forget actually we're in a mountain. <laughs> what a tough time not to have like a paraglider or something. Hello! She's gonna nearly fall out and I'm gonna scare. <laughs> Miguel. You what? That was so scary. There is no way out, princess. Not for any of you. Not safe, babes. Not safe. Ah! Three were taken. Three must be given. Oh, so they have to give three at a time, maybe. What's 
this. That dragon is very pussy, okay? I, I would just like to mention that, right? Yes, it's scary. Yes, it's obviously our villain here. <laughs> Who's shouting for us? Enemy! Start! Okay, sorry. No one leaves here without my daughter. I think it's quite fucked up of fucked up of you in the first place to allow your daughter to be, to be thrown over a chasm. I understand, yes, now you're hearing, now you're trying to help. It's a little bit, little bit too late, my guy. She's already fucking helping herself. And realistically, if, if it wasn't for you, because I know, I know he knew, right? If it wasn't for him, she wouldn't have been down here. And if he didn't know, if he didn't agree to this, I'm gonna be shocked. What are we looking at here? Three take. What, three dragons taken? Were it the dragons, were it the dragons kids that they took? Slay the Valiant! What? The kids? Those kids. <laughs> Who's shocked? Who's shocked that the humans started this? Who is shocked? Not I. Not I, absolutely not. Spare me so much. I will give you anything. Death is not enough for you. You will know my pain. Piece of fucking shit. Are you kidding me? Why did they go down and kill her, kill her kids? What was the reason for that then? Energy! Like, that is really fucked up and crazy, if you think about it. Like, humans just, for some reason, decide that they're gonna go and kill somebody's kids. I know it's a dragon in this case, but come on. No wonder the fucking dragon's holding a grudge and wants some latest. Be quiet. She can hear you. Let her. I don't trust them. That is fucking insane. Why are you here? I'm here for my daughter. That is that is a very cool dragon. Do you really think you're gonna slay this thing? Like this is how stupid some humans are. Like, come on, my guy. I beg of you. I know he. I know that he allowed this to happen. She's gonna have to find out eventually. I smell her hiding, watching. Call her. Oh my god, she's she's using him, so then he'll make Elodie come out. Elodie, don't be stupid, please. Elodie, can you hear me? I think we can sacrifice you, Dad because he was happy enough to sacrifice you. And I'll die on that hill. <laughs> I know we don't know yet, but I will die on it. I have made a, a horrible, horrible mistake. Death. To sacrifice the one thing I love most. Oh. I was gonna stand up, but I'm in my panties, so I won't. To trade your life for the good of my people. I thought that I could take the gold, that I could live with myself. <sighs> fuck you, Dad! I'd be letting the dragon kill him. I would. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Too little too late now, Dad. I'm down here! We're both down here! Tell her to come to you. If he's a good man, he'll tell her to run and find a way out. I am your father! You will obey me! Run off. Run off and find a way out. Do not come out! Period. No! Oh guys, it's real scary. It's real scary! Uh. 
But I'm such a dragon fan, man. Like, I'm finding it hard to hate on the dragon. <laughs> like, the dragon's just angry because her kids got killed, you know? You're dead. You're, you're dead, Miss Thing. No time. No time. No time. Get out of there, Elordi. I was gonna say Elordi, like Jacob. LOD. Use the ropes. Your stepmother for you. They wait for you. Well, I'd fuck hurry the fuck up, babes. Forgive me. <laughs> I'm not sure I can. My parent, my parent decides to allow me to get sacrificed. I'm not sure there's much coming back from that. Maybe I'm stubborn, okay? Because realistically, it was for the good of his people, but I could never do that to my to my my people. That is crazy. The CGI on the dragon is actually really good, and I think sometimes it can get a bit goofy. <laughs> Elodie, for fuck's sake, why are we grunting? You should know by now that you shouldn't grunt. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm scared! <laughs> we're out, but we're not safe because that dragon can come out also. On. We've got a mythical creature on our ass. Please don't kill the dragon. Uh, please don't kill the horse. She's not on the. I knew she was trouble. What you mean? You knew, you knew she was badass. Wouldn't go down without a fight. Where are you going to fix this? Oh fuck! Are they gonna want to throw her at, throw her down there? Open up. Oh, get out of the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seize her! You can't! You, you promised us a daughter. Oh my god! And they fucking killed her and all. Oh my god! These royal people, man. Fuck the royals. I've been saying, no wonder, no wonder I don't like the royals when we're fed this kind of media, you know? God knows the type of shit that goes on. <laughs> Is that our stepmom? Oh, and she's gonna be half dead by now. Elodie! Stepmother! Oh! Where's Floria? We took her to the caves in your place. We're going back in. Well, guys, we're going back in. I'll go. I can find her. It may be too late. We're going back in. Meanwhile. <laughs> guys, they're just lobbing girls in there like nobody's business. <laughs> oh, she's such a badass. She really is. I have the utmost respect because I'd be burnt and dead by now. I would. Yeah, we've done this. We've done this once before. We know the spiel. We know it. <sighs> Masking our scent. Singing! <laughs> we've had time to fucking give ourselves a lob. Oh, I know that's right. Guys, I'm living. I don't know what to tell you. I am, in fact, living. They did not let you live. Nor shall I let Elodie. Oh, God. So the dragon's now holding a grudge personally with Elodie. Floria's not good enough. We want the Elodie. There she is now.
Honestly, give it up. Gloria, can you hear me? Get the fuck up, ho! Wake up! Wake up! I don't like this! Smack her! Smack her on the face! Gloria! Smack her on the face! Ellie. No time! Wake up! Blink, blink! Let's go! Ellie, you're alive! I'm gonna get you out of here. Hurry, hurry, please! Hurry, please! My leg! Everyone's replaceable. We're gonna have to have some sort of Brawl, I know we are with this dragon. I'm preparing myself, now I am. Not yet. Oh no. You have to hide quickly. What about you? I'm gonna fight this motherfucker. <laughs> Where are you hiding? We've masked our scent, haven't we? So she doesn't, she, doesn't, she can't smell us anymore. I'm angry too. Tell the dragon we're not a royal. We have both been lied to. I know they killed your children. They? You? N no, Miss Queen. I was newly married when I got lobbed over. We are not their daughters. More lies. daughters do you think these people have? I mean, I suppose what better do they have to do than shag? I, I guess. <laughs> Floria! Thank you! Thank you, Miss Queen! Thank you very much! You will know my daughter's pain. I'm not a royal bitch! Oh my god, not the erecting nails, are you kidding? Oh, oh it's quite vicious. See, I don't want us to have to hurt it, it's, this is really quite unfortunate here. But you've left us no choice. Depth perception will be all off now, yeah. I am not one of them! I smell it in your blood. Shit me, man. We've got a good few swings in there. We really have. Well done, LED. Show her the scar. Can we not show her the scar where they slice us open then... Look, Miss Queen, look at it. L-O-D. Accept your fate. No, Miss Diva. I fought up, up to this point. I have an army with me. Every innocent woman whose life was stolen down here. Your kind were never innocent. Show her the scar, please. Come on now. Look at this! Then go ahead. Show me your fire. Burn me! She will. Don't provoke her. She will. <laughs> that was so incredibly smart! So incredibly smart, that's what the smoke was showing us, the direction of the wind or whatever. Burnt by our own fire, that has got to be rough. My sister had this too. Period. That is how they make us royal. That is the blood you smell. Period. I wish we could have shown her this prior to her having to burn herself, but I get it, I get it. They fooled you. You've been killing innocent daughters just like they did. Then. No, that's not her job. She's not a killer, but I don't think she will. I don't think she'll do it. Did she do it? No. Didn't think so. I'm through doing what I'm told. 
Oh, fabulous. Yes, yeah, smothering it, smothering them. They'll get to work. Help the bitch. Phenomenal work. Now we need to do something about this royal family then, don't we? Specifically the queen. We need to stop this, whatever this fucking union is. It's me, Valentina. Fucking period. She said, you thought you'd murdered me, did you, bitch? Elodie. You must believe me, I haven't slept a moment since- Since you tried to kill my sister. Oh! I don't give a fuck. I had no choice. Don't you dare explain yourself to this, this commoner. Oh, oh, is that what I am? She's last, and then I'll be free to marry whoever That's I... enough, Henry. You know nothing of what we've endured. You know nothing of our story. Oh, honey. I'm so sorry you've had it so fucking difficult that you guys chose to go in there and kill her kids. You promote this? Take your family and run. I will offer you all one last chance to do the same. We've got the dragon, haven't we? We've got the dragon, and the dragon is coming to blow some of that pump, pump fire, baby! Insolent creature. You think we ought to fear you now? Oh, not me. It's not me, baby. Because you somehow managed to escape the dragon. Not just that, I got her on my side. It's not me you should fear. Burn it down! Burn it! I'm not letting these hoes run off me. They all had their masks on, you know? You're all complacent. Yeah! Everything. Everything. <gasps> what, Miss Diva? That is everything, guys. This has been a phenomenal movie. And is that the end? We're done, are we? Oh no, fuck, all right. You're the only person I trust to look after our people, mother. Mother, not stepmother. That's sickening. We love that, we love growth. Okay, we love that. That is fucking iconic. Are you kidding? We've got a bestie that's a dragon. That's what I strive for, you know? We've made best friends with a motherfucking dragon. You know what? They did that, guys. They did that, okay? And I was a little tad bit worried coming in because I, I, like, I, like I mentioned, I think at some point during, sometimes these like fantasy movies can get a bit not, I don't know if cringe is the right word, but like a bit, a bit too much for me personally. Like I'm not a massive fantasy person. I like fantasy when it's kind of like brought into a realistic sort of vibe. You, do you know what I mean? Like I don't love things being like completely out of left field, you know? Like for example, I'm, I'm obviously loving Game of Thrones. If you're not new to the channel, you'll know that. And I feel like obviously, Obviously, they're not trying to make this like fantasy world. They're just like creating a world where these dragons just exist, you know? And I feel like we kind of had that there. Don't get me wrong, very camp, very fun. It, it always feels good to see a woman break out of like barriers and stuff when it, when it comes to this kind of like period piece, period drama kind of thing, you know? Always feels good, always works in my opinion. Like I love, I love a woman just getting what she deserves and being a bad bitch and all this kind of thing. So I had a feeling coming into this that I was gonna live. Um, the only aspect, like I said, that was gonna be a bit of a iffy one for me would have been just kind of how far we went with the fantasy aspect of things. But no, I think they teetered the line really nicely. Yeah, it's nothing crazy, like it's nothing new. Like this kind of story is nothing new of like a damsel in distress, like becoming her own savior kind of thing. This is nothing new, we've seen it plenty. 
but it's still done very, very well and I've loved it. I feel very, very satisfied with what I just witnessed here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video, right? If you've made it to this point, comment down below, badass bitch. You might have to do a bit of censorship there, maybe some stars and whatnot, but yeah, comment down below, badass bitch. Cause we all are, right? Anyway, love Millie Boy Brown, as per usual, fucking slayed me. Love dragons. I said this at the very beginning, but what else does anyone need, you know? Dragons and a strong, powerful female lead. Love it. All right, I'll see you soon with another video. Goodbye.